click the we're gonna click P for position and click a keyframe and then go back as long as you want and click on the thing hold shift and pull down so it's off the screen so now if we scroll through it it should be like it comes up and then it goes and then the guy pauses the video so we've done that so far so now I'm gonna show you how to put the mouse in so now I'm gonna import the mouse import file where's the mouse and sorry if this is a long tutorial but it's a pretty complicated effect well actually no it's not mouse plus sound and import the cursor put it on top and you wanna just click the corner hold shift and scale it up to what you think it, it will be and there you go so now what you're gonna do is you gotta go to right click go to blending mode and click on soft light no it's not soft light um go back right click blending mode lighten my bad guys it was lightning lighten so yeah if i could see what it looks like okay that looks pretty good so now what i'm gonna do is i gotta keyframe it so the mouse comes up so see how long you want the mouse to come up and line it up above the thing and just click p for position and click the stopwatch go back a little bit to what you want and shit wait no you don't have to click shift for this one because since it's a mouse so now just drag it to where you want and then it should look like this so now if we go back and play it well i'm not gonna play it so actually i'll just do a little ram preview for you guys So yeah, just mess around with that. I'm going to like put this back and make it go fast a little bit. Mess around till you like it, guys. Um, I'm not done yet, so I'm just like showing you. So that looks pretty realistic. And then after he comes up to the mouse, you want to add the... You want to import the, the mouse click sound effect. Just drag that in. And where is it? Okay, mouse click sound effect drag it in and click bracket to line it up if you want like the bracket beside P on your keyboard and then it should sound should be good so let's play it okay that's a little out of sync so I'm gonna pull this back a little bit if I can zoom in pull it back and yeah let's watch this again that's perfect so now once it clicks it you wanna um, once again keyframe the, the little mouse to go back so go to the cursor click the thing go over a couple and just pull it back wherever you want so now if you watch it it should it should go up click it go back so now as soon as it clicks um you want to like go about a little bit like one fourth in or something like that on the mouse click and find the ad advertisement and you want to go to edit and split layer so it's like this so it goes away when you click actually if you want you can add some opacity so just go down here um and go like a go to opacity cl click the little check thing and go a couple before it disappears and set it back to zero so instead of it being going away right right away it like fades a little bit so it goes like um we'll see how it looks let's just test it so the whole thing of this effect is just trial and error so that looks pretty good so i'm going to keep it at that once again you can you can mess around with it and make it look better so now once it's um you're done with that effect you want to like go back to normal so i'm gonna zoom out um let's see how long the tutorial is 11 minutes um that's pretty long so now find a i'm gonna wait one second let me see what i'm doing okay so like right about here i want it to play back so now we're gonna go back to the thing part what part we wanna and we're gonna click on the the one the freeze framed one and we're gonna drag it where the hell is this shit uh. oh sorry guys hold up let me just cut this a little bit and just line that up again 
sorry guys I had to find the end of that I couldn't find it so there you go so now what you want to do is where you want to start it again so you want to go to the um the part what sec let me try and find out how to explain this so just put these all down so it's easier to go through so I want to start it back right right here where my cursor is so I mean where my thing is line so I'm gonna drag this in um, and then I'm gonna like so it goes and it plays again. Oh, she, see how that little black that was a little black. So you gotta zoom in and make it accurate. See if you zoom in, it looks like that. So you gotta line it up and then zoom back out. So now if we scroll through, it goes like that and it plays. So then right when it shoots, you wanna find the shooting part and you wanna sync that again. So you wanna click here, click LL, and then go down and just move it up so it's like right on the line the line there you go so go down so now if we play this from here it should look like this okay that looks good guys and then I'm gonna just right over here when it things I'm gonna add in the play button so I'm gonna go import file go to desktop um, where is it where is the file where is it play button right here so just drag that in above all the way to the top 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 and then just click the bracket to line it and what you wanna do is the same thing we did last time so click the pen tool Wait, find the largest point of it first, so you know where mask around, right there's the largest point. Pen tool around, so all the black goes away. And then key light, drag it on, and click the little, the eyedropper, and click the green on the side. And then you want to, I want to scale it so it looks just as good as this, so I want to bring it back here. I want to click bracket so it lines up. And I'm just gonna um, scale this up so it matches the other one so it looks realistic. So I just click shift, pull it up to what you want, and just see if they match. See, they're pretty, they're pretty good. If you want to center it properly, just click on that and click title action safe. And then that little plus sign in the middle right there, that's the exact center of the whole thing. So you can just mess around with that. And then, so now I got it, they're the same size. I just want to go back here or I play it and just drag this right there and then time it so as soon as it clicks play you shoot well like it plays so basically let's watch this over again oh that's a little too long so I'm just gonna let you guys mess around with that just bring it cut the shorter cut the shorter put this in more and that's basically that's like that's tutorial guys so it's not that hard once you if it's if you're new to After Effects once you learn the basics and how to keyframe and stuff like that it's really simple I used to be like you guys I used to have trouble but then I just practiced and yeah so guys if you guys like the tutorial just leave a thumbs up for the first tutorial on this I haven't seen any more and if you guys want more just subscribe because I upload one every three days and from now on I'll try and make them more advanced and sorry if we don't have any Sony Vegas tutorials or Sony Vegas guys trying to make them so yeah guys um, one more time if you guys like the videos comment and peace guys